Hey guys, what's up? So as you guys know me, I always review old stuffs. I don't really buy new stuffs most of the time. But today I bought a new phone actually for my mother. My mother actually don't use smartphone. But uh, last time when I was talking to her, I just asked her if she wants a smartphone or not. But she did not say anything. But I thought let's gift her a phone. And I bought one actually. So this one is a pretty basic smartphone. I think this one will get the job done and I bought it from online. So let's unbox and check what we are getting. So I bought this one from official shop. So I bought a Poco 665 as you can see. And the bill is here actually from Lazada and other names. So this here it's about 2722 baht which is about 75 dollars so i bought the variant of 6 gb and 128 gb variant so i think uh, it will get the job done for her it is like overkill for her because she is not going to use anything on this phone for basic use maybe my father will help her to like cope with smartphone so as you can see it new and sealed box not yet open and as you can see here all the things are here so you can see this is a blue one 6 gb 128 gig variant and other things this one is a global variant phone so not not indian one so let's unbox the box and check what we are getting so the specs of this device actually it got a 720p display and the processor here is actually helio g85 I think it's pretty much similar to my Redmi Note 8 uh, Snapdragon 665 processor. So it's pretty much very similar. And RAM and ROM, as you know, I have already shown. So, and also it got 90 hertz panel. And the battery here is actually 5000 mAh. I think for the price, $75. This one actually is pretty good deal for for a uh, device. So let's open it. So here we have the device and we also have sim ejector pin and some booklets no case here actually and we have we got a cable so this one is actually yes type a to type c and the brick here actually is maybe 10 watt brick yeah this one is a 10 watt brick not not really a fast charger so this device does support 18 watt fast charging but Xiaomi did not include that first charger. So rather than that, nothing fully empty. Let's open the device and check. So this device is pretty big. Actually, it's bigger than my Redmi Note 8. And the device does look beautiful. So all, all the specs you can see here, it is fully plastic built device. It looks good actually. It's not really that bad, but it's pretty big device and looks good. So the camera here actually is 50 megapixel, maybe plus two megapixel micro sensor. I don't think she 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 going to use this kind of thing, just normal use. So let's take this skin protector. I think there is a skin protector built in. I don't really know this there is or not. So it's really tough to take this one out. Okay. No, there is no skin protector. Actually, usually it's Xiaomi do put a screen protector on their devices so let's turn it on i hope it has juice left yeah it's vibrated so it's turning on now maybe first boot it will take a little more time preparing the system it's running on android 13 and miui 14 so i think it will get an update to android 14 later on this year and after that it will not get any kind of update but uh, it's okay because android actually pretty much five or ten years back compatible so all the application will work just fine i think this device will die before app support and for this device actually so i think it's not really that bad for the 75 dollars but the device, as you can see, it looks good. Actually, it looks much better than my Redmi Note 8. And although this display is 720p, I don't really see any kind of pixel or anything like that. 
it is it's looking good actually it's not bad and also we are getting 90 hertz too for 75 dollar 90 hertz 6 gb 128 gb and really big display although it's a 720p but i don't think it's going to be that much big issue for my mother so turned on Finished already, so ready to rock. Turned on and it's looking good actually. Yes, there are a lot of bloatware actually. Maybe most of them I can uninstall or disable them. So let me let me try Spotify. So uninstall is a Bible and lazada is from here game center maybe this one i cannot even i cannot disable this one so there are few applications which i cannot disable but there are a lot of pre-installed apps as you can see the camera is also here so let me try the camera while using the app and the camera looks good and let me see the macro mode and we also can take picture in 50 megapixel let me check yeah let's go in back to picture and do we do have my macro mode here so macro mode the camera here is actually two megapixel for macro and seems to be working but my mother not going to use anything like that so just main camera is okay i think for the basic phones only single camera quite good not don't really need many cameras so the phone is working flawlessly I'm not seeing any issue going to the display maybe 90 hertz is on or off uh, let me check i don't really see the refresh rate yeah refresh rate is here it's in default right now so custom and 90 hertz so i turn it on and hertz. i will put it back to 60 hertz because uh, no need to be yeah it's 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 much better now it's pretty smooth and working fine no issue it's a beautiful device actually it's a beautiful device and seems to be working fine and i will make a proper video about this device so as you can see here mi y 14 and 128 gig maybe we will have few more ram too like we can extend so we can extend up to 2 gb but the storage here is actually emmc 5.1 so it's not really good to use the storage as RAM, this kind of slower one. So I would rather prefer the stock RAM. It's much better. So the phone is working just fine and pretty beautiful device as you can see, not really bad. So that's all about unboxing the device. I hope my mother will like this one. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.